We have been searching all through Central Florida in an effort to find the best, most affordable, brand new homes, and we have finally found them. These are big, beautiful, brand new homes with a warranty, with community amenities, and many of them are priced in the 300000s And the incentives that these builders are offering are making these homes fly off the shelves. In this video, I'm going to reveal who these builders are, where they're located, the incentives that they are offering. I'm going to walk through a few of their model homes, and I'm going to explain to you how you can get more information if you want to purchase one of these beautiful brand new homes. Let's waste no time. Let's go. So through my exhaustive research, I found four builders here that build beautiful brand new homes here in Palm Bay, Florida with a warranty, low property taxes, low insurance, have amenities such as playground areas, pickleball courts, even swimming pools that are close to newer schools, newer shopping, only in a half an hour to the beach. What else more could you want? And I'm going to go over all the details right now. So I'm going to go over each of these four builders, what they have to offer here. I'm going to walk through one of the model homes of each of the builders. And I'm also going to show you and explain to you what they're offering as incentive to buy these brand new homes. Some of them are offering rates as low as 3.99. Some of them are offering flex cash as much as 25000 It all depends on the level of where they are in the home construction. So if you find an inventory home that's done, you're going to get more incentives on those type of homes. And you might be thinking, well, the market's bad. They're not selling any homes here. Well, these homes are selling like crazy here. They're selling them. In fact, one builder sold out, sold out all of their lots, all of their homes, even before the Amenti Center was done. So let's get after it right now. So the four builders I'm going to talk about today are Adams Homes, D.R. Horton, Lansea Homes, and KB Homes. Each of these builders, in my opinion, offer great value, brand new, beautiful homes, some priced under $400,000, and are in communities where there are community pools, there's community playground areas, pickleball courts, activity areas, and much, much more. Let's take a look. Okay, so my first builder we're going to talk about is Adams Homes. So Adams Homes builds homes in several different areas across the state of Florida. They are a very good builder in my opinion. I've sold quite a few of their homes. Now, they are a production builder, which means for the most part, they're building inventory homes for you to purchase. If you get to them on a lot before they've started, yes, you can select a couple things, uh, the color of the countertops, the colors of the cabinets, the color and the type of flooring. But mostly they're a production builder, so they pre-prescribe what home is going to go on which lot, and that saves you money. So Adams Homes is probably your most cost-effective builder here in Palm Bay when it comes to cost. You can get homes as low as $320,000 for a nice 1,400-square-foot home. Now, we're going to walk you through their 2335 model here, which is a four-bedroom, two-and-a-half-bath, two-car garage home. It's a beautiful home. So let's take a look. So before I do a walkthrough of this home, wait to the end of this video because I'm going to do a walkthrough of an actual inventory home that Adams Homes currently has priced at $320,000 for a 14-15 plan. So wait to the end because you can see exactly what you get for a very affordable price here in Palm Bay. So the first Adams Homes model I want to show you is their 2335 square foot model. It's a four bedroom, two and a half bath home. Now this home with some great upgraded features can be had for under $400,000. This is a great value in my opinion. And another great thing about Adams Homes in general is that if you decide to contract with them, all they require is a $1,000 deposit up front. That's all you have to pay up front until you close on the home. So this home is, again, 2335 square feet. And as we come inside the door here, you'll see a feature that I really like. You have a half bath right off of the front door. Right here, the door, we're going to open this up right now. And I like this feature because if you're outside working or if the kids are outside playing and they need to come and use the restroom, they can come right in the front door right to the half bath there. They don't have to traipse through the whole house to use the restroom, so I like that. So you can see they have tile floors all throughout the first floor here, except for the bedrooms. 
You see the stairs to the second story. We'll get there in just a minute. And it opens up to a beautiful kitchen with a big island kitchen there. Just really nice. You can put your stools right there at the countertops, granite or quartz countertops. Really, really a nice kitchen that opens up to the living area there. But I love this kitchen. Uh, nice and big. Has a lot of cabinet space and a pantry right there. So this is, uh, pantry is actually right behind me. But uh, it opens up to a big living area so you can have your dining room table obviously right there. And then a really big section there for a living area. Some big screen TV can go out there. So I love this space downstairs. There also is a living area space upstairs, which we'll see in just a minute. Uh, so you get back here, a lot of light with this house. You got windows, of course, right here in the back of the home. You have windows on the side, a lot of light. Beautiful living area here on the first floor. Now, the porch area, which we'll get to in just a minute here at the end of this walkthrough, is of course right here to our left but let's go through and look at the rest of the house first we get through here and they have a very nice primary bedroom which is downstairs which a lot of people want this the primary bedroom is downstairs so you got plenty of room here you got a nice big closet of course and a walk-in closet and the master bathroom as two sinks which is a must in my opinion again you're going to get your quartz or granite countertops there and you're most of the time going to get your shower here in the master bath with your water closet there really a nice master suite tile floors good space Again, the only part of the first floor that is going to be carpeted is in the bedrooms. And in this case, it is the master bedroom downstairs. Really a nice master suite. Come right out of your master suite. Open up right to the main part of the house there. Really, really nice. So you can see there's we have the pantry here as I previously mentioned. We're going to open up and take a quick peek into there. All the sales brochures, but of course this is where the food pantry is. A really good space for a pantry. So we're going to walk upstairs first and then finish the rest of the house. So this plan has a really impressive upstairs bonus room area living area family room whatever you want to call it so whether you're a couple living in this house and you just want two big living areas for maybe your grandkids or just for yourself or if you've got a big family this would be a great hangout for the kids as you have your other three bedrooms upstairs this is a great area living area for them bedrooms are excellent size bedrooms you can easily fit queen size beds in each of these bedrooms, no doubt about it. Most of them have excellent closet space, plus areas for nightstands, plus areas for dressers. This bedroom is the same, has great space. This even has a little walk-in closet with a window around the corner, which many of the builders are doing. I love that for a little natural light into the closet. I like that, really nice. Very good space. All right, we're gonna walk on out here and we're gonna go to the full bath upstairs. Again, two sinks, quartz or granite countertops, nice lighting, really nice size, second bathroom. Most of the time you're going to see a combination tub and shower in this second bath and you see it here. Again, for 400,000 or less, you can really get a very nice home. Nice, nice home. Okay, I love this bonus room. I keep showing it because I love it. Utility room is upstairs with your sink. A lot of storage area and last but not least the fourth bedroom again is a good size bedroom 
You can easily fit a really nice queen size bed up here. There's your closet. So the two-story homes, you almost always have two living areas, one downstairs, one upstairs. Again, this being 2335 square feet under air gives you two big areas to live in, to enjoy living room and a family room. All right, so we're going to go downstairs. We're going to look at the remaining features that we haven't covered yet. And the first will be the garage area. Where you have traditionally your water heater, your energy saving water heater, you have your electrical panel, your panels there for your windows, your storm panels are going to be stored there in the garage. And it does come with a garage door opener. And last but not least, let's go through and take a look at the covered porch area. Covered porch areas are very important. In my opinion, you'll spend a lot of time out here. You can have those screened eventually if you want to have those screened you can have your patio extended out you can put a pool in these homes there's plenty of room for a pool you can see where your lot goes on this so again the footprint on a two-story home is less than a one-story so there's plenty of backyard backyard space you can fence your backyard my name is david jelinek i'm a local real estate agent here in the melbourne florida area which is also known as the space coast Please know that I make videos that are all about the Melbourne, Florida area, what's like to live here, what's like to work here, what's like to play here, the food, the beaches, the entertainment, the real estate, and much, much more. I've lived in this area for over 40 years. I've been a realtor for more than 36 years, so I know this area very, very well. If you're looking for an experienced agent to help you with your move here to the Melbourne, Florida area, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, and I'll be happy to set up a private call with you to discuss my services and to help make your move here to the Melbourne, Florida area a very easy one and a very fun one. Okay, so the second builder on my list is D.R. Horton. So in 2023, D.R. Horton sold the most new home units in all of the United States. So D.R. Horton is also pretty much an inventory, a production builder. They will build homes on certain lots with certain floor plans that are predetermined. That way they're able to save you money. You can get homes as low as 320,000 here in Palm Bay. Beautiful brand new homes around 1,400 square feet. Of course, they go up to over 400,000. So DR Horton offers a very nice selection of different floor plans, but by far their most popular is this one here, the Cali. It's a four bedroom, two bath, two car garage, 1,828 square feet. We're gonna take a look. So let's do our walkthrough. Of course, this is a model home of DR Horton. So that front area there is gonna be, of course, a two car garage. So as you come in the front door, you're going to have your two bedrooms and a full bath right here to your left. Both of these bedrooms are very good size. So what you see here is what you're going to get here with D.R. Horton's Cali plan here in the Glen of Cypress Bay West. Now, this is the second guest room there. Again, good size. You have plenty of room for a queen size bed with nightstands, dresser, and of course your closet there. Now, this uh, second bath we're gonna look at now is actually not a true bathroom. You're gonna have a tub shower combination in the back here. This is a model home, so they decided just to put this in there for their model home for the ease of the customers, but that will be a full bath on any normal new home that you build with DR Horton. So as you come through, again, you're looking at a model home, so there's some different things that you would normally not have, but this is a great open area. This is what sells the Cali floor plan. You have a beautiful island kitchen. You have granite countertops there, just a nice big open area, dining area, which opens out to a living area as well. This is, again, their most popular floor plan. You get tile floors everywhere except for the bedrooms in this plan in this area of Palm Bay. Stainless steel appliances. Again, just a beautiful floor plan. This is why this is so popular. It's a four bedroom, two bath, 1,800 plus square feet. A nice big living area here. You can get room for a big screen TV. Just a nice area for a couple couches, chairs, ottoman, that sort of thing. Opens up to the primary suite and this uh, room is a very good size room. This is a very good size bed with nightstands. You got chair, you got a night uh, dresser as well. Really good space here for the master suite. Opens up to the master bathroom, two sinks, 
Uh, now you're going to get uh, in their bathrooms, you're going to get Formica countertops uh, with the two sinks, a nice stand-up shower with uh, the master bath and then a water closet area and then a really nice walk-in closet. So a lot of good features. This home, the Cali plan in this area can be had for right around $350,000. Now, if it's an inventory home, they're going to give you extra incentives to buy this home. Uh, but $350,000 is about the price. There's a, some variations of their elevations, and there's a few other little options that they do offer or have in their homes. But right around three hundred fifty dollars for this beautiful 1,800-square-foot home with a lot of upgrades. Again, take a quick look at the main living area here, which is where most people are going to spend most of their time. Let's take a quick peek out back here to look at their covered pattern uh, patio area. Again, a good size area there. You're always going to have a good size backyard. You can fence in your yards here. Uh, and if you have a waterfront lot, uh, even all the better. So again, you got your big kitchen there. You've got uh, you know really good space there. You can put your chairs right there at the countertop. Now we're going to take a peek around the corner here to the utility area. Again, this is a model home, so it's not all is it how it's going to be when you move in. Here's your utility area here. So you got plenty of room there for your washer, dryer, some cabinets, which they will put shelving in for their final home. And bedroom number four here. So you can make it an office like they have here or a bedroom, workout room, craft room, whatever you want to do. Beautiful, beautiful home. So if you're considering a new home here in the Palm Bay area, you need agent representation like myself. Give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, and I'll be happy to explain my services. I can help you with all the different builders. I can explain the pros and cons of each. I can help you with the best deals. I can get you in front of the builders when they have their best deals going on. And I can explain my services, which is not going to cost you. There's no money out of pocket for our services. So again, but I can't help you unless you reach out to me. Give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. I'll be happy to have a great conversation with you and help you with your move here to the Melbourne or the Palm Bay, Florida area. Okay, so the next builder on my list is Land Sea Homes. So Land Sea Homes is also building it here at the gardens at Waterstone. Land Sea Homes offers one-story and two-story homes. We're going to take a look here at their Laurel floor plan, which is a four-bedroom, three-bath, 2,273-square-foot home. Lancy offers a little bit more options when it comes to structural and design center options than the previous two builders. So they have a nice interactive website where you can go on there and see what those options are. But Lancy Homes builds an awesome home in my opinion. Let's go take a look. Okay, so let's take a look at Lancy Homes Laurel floor plan. A beautiful two-story home here. This home can be had for right around $400,000. It's a four-bedroom, three-bath. 2273 square feet under air, of course, with a two car garage. I love the looks of San Lancy Homes floor plans. A sleek look here, a little bit different than many of the other builders. So, as we get in the front door, you can see the stairs to the upstairs right there to your left, and we'll go upstairs in just a minute and very high ceilings. So, your entryway here, you have a coat closet here right to your left here, which not many two-story homes or any homes actually have, but it does have that and uh, you can store whatever you want there. Good storage. And as we push back to the back of the home, Lancy Homes does offer options on their interior features. So we'll keep that in mind. But anyway, it opens up to a beautiful, great room area here on this floor plan, dining room area with the island kitchen and a good sized living area. So Lancy Homes does allow you to select your options. You can have a Formica top, granite, or quartz top if you like. So these beautiful countertops, this color combination really, really is nice with the stainless steel appliances. Pantry right there. Island kitchen again. You can have stools there right there and eat right there at your countertops. But it does have a nice big dining room area there when you want that. So this Laurel plan is just really a, a nice plan if you need a little bit bigger of a house. Again, this one is right around 400000 or so, give or take, depending on the options that you select with it. Lancy Homes does offer homes uh, starting at right around 300000 as well. So you can get a home with Lancy Homes in the low 300s. 
So you got a nice living area here, plenty of room for a big screen TV if that's what you're looking for. A lot of light, it pushes out here to the porch area, so this plan has a generous covered porch area and we'll explore that a little bit later. Really nice space here on the first floor. So this is going to open up now to the primary bedroom. And you're going to see this is a very large primary bedroom. That's a king size bed. You got room for two really nice nightstands, dresser, mirror, chair, a lot of room for just about anything you'd want here in your primary suite, primary bedroom. On the two-story homes, it's preferred that the master or the primary bedroom be downstairs. It's not that way in all floor plans, but it is here with their Laurel plan. Of course, you have your primary bathroom. Again, you can select the countertops, the flooring, and different things that you want here, but this one has some very nice granite countertops, two sinks, really a big primary bathroom, beautiful walk-in shower, just really, really nice. Of course, you have your water closet there and a nice, you have your, of course, your linen closet, your primary walk-in closet, really good size, shelving. Lancy builds a very, very good home in my opinion. Really nice primary bath, really good size. Take a little peek there at the water closet. Beautiful, beautiful bathroom. A lot of great features. Again, this is all on the first floor. This is one of the bigger master or primary suites you're gonna find in many of these builders' homes. This one here, the Laurel Plan. All right, so we're gonna push back up to the front of the house here, take a look at a couple of the other guest bedrooms. So here's the second bath. Again, you have the matching countertops and cabinets. This has a shower. You can decide to go with a tub shower combination if you want. That is an option that they allow. Now, I had somebody working in the office here when I came through, but this is your first of your guest bedrooms. Okay, then of course your laundry area there, plenty of room, washer and dryer, little shelving if you want. Take a peek back out to the living area there. Now we're gonna head on upstairs. And you're gonna find the other guest bedrooms and bath upstairs. They have a little area at the top of the stairs here for a little sitting area, TV area. Nice little area here, just a private little secondary TV office, workout area, you know, craft area, whatever you want to make this be. It's, it's a size of, basically the size of a small bedroom. And this is just kind of a utility area. Some people just use it as a closet storage area. They have it here, a little wake, workout room. You can do whatever you want with this little room here. It's a good storage area if you want it for storage. And up top here, we're going to see the other two bedrooms and full bath. It's full bath up here. So again, this has three full bedrooms. And this is the full, I'm sorry, three full bathrooms. And this is the third bathroom upstairs. And then, of course, you have your third and fourth bedroom upstairs. Good size room, that's a queen size bed. Easily is fitting within the side of the space there with nightstands, dresser, mirror. And same with the remaining upstairs bedroom, very good size. Really good space. Again, this is 2273 square feet under air.
more, they do have inventory homes, but they allow more personalization when you get them before the house has been begun constructed. Again, the Laurel Plan offers a good size covered patio area, porch area, which I really like. I recommend to get as big as you, a patio area that you can because you'll use it quite often. Again, that's an example of what your lot space will look like. You have room for a pool, extra patio, fenced in backyard for the kids. Really good space here in the backyard. If you're looking for a channel that is all about Florida, that is all about the Melbourne, Florida area, this is the channel for you. I've lived in Melbourne, Florida for the past 40 years, so I know it very well. I know the good and the not so good. I know the best things about Florida. I know the things that aren't so good. And I will tell you about all of these issues here on this channel. This channel is not just about walking through model homes, but it's about teaching you about this area, the employment, the real estate, the shopping, the food, the beaches, the entertainment, the parks, the climate, the schools, the 55 plus communities, the new homes and the resales. Everything you need to know about this area if you're considering a move here to Florida like so many are. Click on that subscribe button now to get notified and to see all the great content about the Melbourne, Florida area that you won't find on any other channel. Thank you. So last but not least is KB Homes. So KB Homes has a beautiful model park here at the Gardens at Waterstone offering six beautiful models. We're going to walk you through one of those. Now KB Homes out of all these four builders offers the most customization options that you can offer that you can choose from when it comes to structural and design options. So if you want to change your master bath and have a tub instead of a shower or vice versa, you can do that. If you want to have higher ceilings, you can do that. If you want to extend your lanai or do many other different things, KB Homes has a beautiful interactive website where you can go and choose and look at the different options you have with each different model. Now the model we're going to walk through here is one of their most popular. It's a four bedroom, two bath home, 1989 square feet, and therefore it's called the 1989 floor plan. This of course has a two car garage. Let's take a look. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at KB Homes, one of their most popular models, and that's the 1989 square foot model. This is a four bedroom, two bath home, two car garage. It bases at around 355,000. This is one of my favorite floor plans. It's a one-story home, of course. Let's take a look. So this one has more of a front entry, front door, in my opinion. There we go, just want to confirm it. Okay, so again, it has a nice, wide, open entry area. This is luxury vinyl planks in this home. This is a choice, you can change it if you want to your desire. So again, on this plan, the two bedroom, the two guest bedrooms and bath are right up front. Good size guest bedroom here. And there is the closet right there on the side. The hall bath here has the one sink and this one is a tub and shower combination. Again, that can be changed if you want. I believe this offers a two sink option here in their second bath. And then their second guest bedroom, they're showing as an office, but it does have a closet right around the corner there. You got a good space, plenty of room for a queen size bed, nightstands, etc. So again, this opens up what I like about this home and many of KB's home floor plans is that it opens up to a nice big open living area. So being 1989 square feet, this living area is a little bit bigger than some of the others. You can on options here decide to have high ceilings or lower ceilings. Their kitchen offers on this plan a beautiful big island kitchen. This one here they're showing the big farmhouse sink there which is very popular these days. I like that. A lot of cabinetry, high cabinetry. Really nice quartz countertops here. Again, you're here in the kitchen overlooking the family, everything here that's happening in your home. Big screen TV capable there. This is just a great space, great floor plan. Again, this base is at about 355. Most people upgrade this and you're going to see prices at around 390 to 410. 
was what I have found with my clients and others. So the master or primary bedroom here is just huge. So that's a king size bed, plenty of room for nightstands, plenty of room for a chair, dressers, and more in this master suite. Wow, huge. Really nice, generous master closet as well. They're showing tray ceilings here. You can do that as an option. Many like that to give the room a little bit of contrast. And the master bathroom here with the two sinks. Now they're showing just for mica countertops here. Again, that can be upgraded or changed. Now that is an upgraded shower with tile almost to the ceiling. So again, KB Homes offers a lot of different options that you can choose from to upgrade your house to your liking. So out the back, the all important covered porch area. They've got a good covered porch area. Now you can extend it out if you want. You can put a patio out back, you can put a pool out back, you can cage it in. There's a lot of things you can do with that area. And again, I recommend people do as much as they can with that because you will use it, you will enjoy it. Really nice space here. go real quick and just take a look at this side here so you have your laundry area which everybody needs of course and then the fourth bedroom so this is still a good size fourth bedroom as your closet area so for the growing family this is a great space or if you just want that fourth bedroom to be an office it's awesome again it has a very similar garage as the others Hurricane panels, water heater, electrical panel. Being a one-story home, you have your attic space here above the garage. The 1989, really good plan, very popular. I love this floor plan. It can be had at about 400,000 or a little bit less. Okay, so we're at Adams Homes' smallest, most affordable floor plan, their 1415 square foot floor plan, three bedroom, two bath. This is an inventory home ready to go. It's priced at $320,200. What a great price, what a great affordable home for this great community. Let's take a look. So again, this one is available now, or you can have this built. Again, this is their most affordable floor plan in this very nice area of Cypress Bay. We're in the 40 foot, watt lot, 40 foot wide lots here at the Gardens of Waterstone. So as you want to come in the front door, it's a nice wide entry, which I like. You've got a little coat closet there. So this house does not have the measles. They just went through and marked off some of the little imperfections there in the paint, so they'll be retouching these areas up. This one just fell through, just came back on the market again at 322,000. 1,415 square feet, so you have a nice big living area here. You got nice tile floors, good looking Formica countertops, white cabinets, a lot of good things here. Big living area, you have your Nice big countertop there where you can put stools and eat there right at the countertop or you have a little dinette area as well. Now in these homes that are completed, they're offering 499, 4.99 financing. They're also offering an appliance package. So you normally don't get a refrigerator, washer and dryer, but you do with these inventory homes. You also get 10,000 flex cash. You get a lot, of, a lot of bonuses if you're ready to buy this inventory home that's ready to close. So the master suite on this floor plan is located back here. You've got a good size area. You have plenty of room for a, a king size bed, nightstands, and dresser. Everybody always wants me to look at the closets to see what it looks like. So here's the master closet. Got good spot, a good space here in the master closet. Okay, and go out to here to the bathroom suite, the master suite. So this one has a stand-up shower, 
for a separate shower there. They're all stand-ups, aren't they? Two sinks. Very nice lighting. Again, this is the 1415 plan. At 320,000, you'd be in an area where there's a community pool. You've got other amenities, you've got pickleball courts, you've got playground areas. So let's walk around here to the other two bedrooms. Okay, they also offer on this one vaulted ceilings. Guest bedroom number one. Guest bedroom number two. And it has closet. Hall bath or bathroom number two, the single sink, your combination tub and shower, which again is fairly common for the second bath. You're almost always gonna get a shower in the master or primary bath. Very nice, good sized laundry area. Again, with an inventory home like this, you get, they're giving you the appliance package with it. With a normal new home, you don't get the refrigerator, washer and dryer. And of course the garage with your like standard hurricane panels there in the corner, water heater, and as a single story home, you're gonna have your attic space. That, this one actually has steps to pull down stairs for your attic. So wow, great value here. So here's the essence of this video. You get a very nice home here for 320. This is about as low as you get them, uh, about as affordable as the homes come here in the Cypress Bay West area. So again, this is about as affordable as they get here in the Cypress West, the gardens of Waterstone area here with Adams Homes. They built a great house for 320,000 plus 4.99%, plus 10%, plus 10,000 flex cash, plus extra appliance package, refrigerator, washer and dryer. You can't beat that here in a great area with great community amenities. If you're interested in this home, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email and I'll be get you right in front of the salesperson so that you can be first in line for this great value. So each of these builders offer a very affordable home in my opinion. You can get homes again in the 300,000s, but they also offer larger square footages such as the one behind me, KB Homes. Uh, that's a 3,500 square foot home. You can deck it out with all the things you want and it'll be in the 600,000s and they're selling in this area. This area is very popular, the Cypress Bay area here in South Palm, Bay, South Palm Bay, which offers six or seven different neighborhoods. There's a lot of homes going up. There's a lot of homes being sold. So again, you can get a very affordable home here in this area, but you can also get a very large upgraded home as well.